we've created the title and we've finessed the title, but what if we want to save this as something that we can use later on? So I can double click it to open. I can either double click it here in the timeline or in the project panel, which is my title's bin, to reopen it. Now I'm actually very happy with this and I might decide that I want to save this as some kind of title style. Now you'll see at the bottom we've got this styles panel with lots and lots of different styles and you've got a little drop down box here and it says new style and when you click new style it says what do you want to name it as and I'm going to put it as Andrew's welcome click OK and you'll see at the bottom Andrew's welcome has been added as a style now if I select all this text I can play with any of these other styles I can click around and I can try all kinds of different looks for the styles that have already been created and given to us in Premiere Pro so I might find something that I think suits what I'm doing a lot better than what I've done myself or I might find that I need something to start off with that I can then go in and change as I like but if I don't find anything I like I can always go back to the original it's actually saved there as a title style but it doesn't mean that I don't have the option to be able to edit it slightly so I can double click it here you can see all the text is selected so if I wanted to I might decide I want to move the kerning maybe the tracking I want to track it out a little bit and make it a little bit more spacious so I can still go in and edit it just because it's been saved as a title style doesn't mean that I can't change it however if I want to now change this to something else so say I want to do Sea Houses Part 2 or I want to add another title that's based on this title I actually have to click another button I can't just change this one because this particular title has been applied to my timeline and I can apply it as many times as I like but if I double click the second version and I was to change it to see let's just take off a few letters for argument's sake and hit stop it's changed it but also see ho see ho it's changed it in all instances so that's actually not what I want to do so I'm going to control Z take it back to see houses and exit off and then both instances have got see houses so I need to be very careful that I don't change a title once I've created it but what I can do is create another title based on this title so if I double click it to open it you'll see that right at the top here I've got three buttons and we're going to look at all of them but this first button here says new title based on current title and if I click on that it says okay what do you want to name this particular title and I'm going to put here is the C and now you'll see in my project panel and in the bin that I've opened there's one here that's called here is the C and it's updated what's actually in here so if I was to select all this text and I was to go here is the C you can see it's dynamically updating here in my project panel and then that is actually created I can exit off and you can see that I can now add that one in to my timeline as I like as a new title based on the current title so that's a simple way of creating titles and you can see that titles look quite effective but there's an awful lot more that we can do in titles and in the next tutorial we're going to be looking at this button which is creating templates we can save what we've already done as a template to use in completely different projects and if you have templates installed on your machine how we can actually use those templates to create things very quickly